what units are you hoping to get? Lucifer. Yeah, let's get right on the trying to summon a Lucifer. That should be fairly easy. So today we're here. Oh, he's got an Ancient Transcendence. That should be exciting at least. Uh, Lucifer, Sonia, Claire, Dominic, Rika, Ren, Water, Ivor. Mainly looking for new or fun stuff and Siege Dupes. So let's see if we can get any of those. We at least have two Transcendence. So we got the Ancient Transcendence. We got the regular Transcendence. We have a decent amount of LDs too. Shouldn't get my hopes up because that will they will get crushed. Let's start anyway. Sonia, Claire, Dominic, Rika, Ren, Water, Ivor. Man looking for new and fun stuff and siege dupes. Yeah, we have a shot. I mean, we have a few. We have a few transcendents. We're a few transcendents. We should get on average two to three in the uh, in the other scrolls. So could be could be fun won't be fun. Now that I say that, it won't be fun. We're not going to get anything exciting. Also, it'd be fun to get some new units. He's just going to get the fire one. Everyone gets the fire one. I don't know why. I, everyone gets fire twin angels. Actually, I do know why, because it's the least good of the... That's the technical term. The least good of the twin angels. Actually, I think the technical term is the least gooder. Least goodest? Least goodest of the twin angels. I'm sorry for anyone that's trying to learn English from watching my videos. Uh, you're going to learn some bad English. <laughs> it's going to be all bad. He's, he also said he has a negative uh, crystal balance. For blessings. So that should be interesting. Take a look at that. It's uh, from the event, right? I think it's from the, uh, or the, the the refund thing. What do we have? Nothing except... Man, I, those gargoyles are so close to being useful. Really? So close to being useful. I mean, some of them are, are, are useful in certain areas. Fire one is passable. You can make that work in, in some instances. And then the, uh, you know, uh, destroy HP pure damage. Not bad. And then the wind one. It's like a defense-based Jolton that has a provoke. So this has got some utility there. We, we made the light one work too. He's not the most OP. <laughs> <coughs> but we made him work. Oh my goodness. Can we please stop getting the gargoyles unless you're going to buff them? And they should have buffed them by now. Story of uh, story of the entire game's history. They should have buffed that by now. Yeah, it's always how it is. They should have buffed everything by everything. I'm wondering what games are going to come out right around the 10-year anniversary. Because I, I feel like I know Comp to us, and they're going to bring something crazy out right after the 10-year anniversary. They're going to be like, yeah, by the way, you guys got to all stick around. So I'm wondering, I think, because uh, I'm not leaving YouTube entirely. I, I think that it's important to kind of nurture the community that we've built on YouTube, just in general. So, and also I, I, I never planned on quitting uh, quitting YouTube, but it's just summoners war. I'm just like, this is it's 10 years on one phone game. So. <coughs> 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 That's why I'm still sick, because Comptoris is poisoning my water supply. That makes sense. That makes the most sense of any idea I've heard. But yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if this, there's going to be uh, some fun coming out after that. Well, there's, there's a couple things. I don't know if they're going to be any good. I feel like most of the time... Actually, I don't feel like... Definitely 100% most of the time, any of these mobile games come out, they're garbage and then dead uh, with, within a few months. Or dead in terms of like having a large enough player base to actually care about. Like having a thousand players <laughs> that spend a uh, hundred bucks a month. Like that's fine to keep servers up and running. But in terms of... Uh, <coughs> in terms of actually building a community around that. Or, or nurturing community or maintaining a community around that. It's just... Yeah, that's a tall ask, especially when you have to spend a bunch of money every month to uh, 
to play a game and, and, and focus so many so many hours on it. Might just might just wind up with that we do PC stuff. I don't know. Whatever it is, we definitely can't keep doing those man, those steam I I felt like those steam videos were not gonna do as bad as they have been. I thought that they might get, you know, not not that much uh no, I I, I figured they were gonna be like decent. In the beginning, it's like, oh, people are interested in whatever new games are coming out, but they don't want to hear about it for too long. So let's just do like 15 seconds for every game. 15 to 30 seconds talking about each game. Move on to the next, move on to the next, move on to the next. Every video does worse than the last, which is exactly the opposite of what, <coughs> <coughs> what we're hoping for. So... Every video worse, 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 worse. Sad. I didn't expect them to get like uh, crazy views, but I was hoping they would at least get like a, like just not always be worse than the last. Like not, <laughs> just not be a continual uh, downslide. But I suppose that's, that's everything. I guess. No Nat Fives yet. Very exciting. We do have a blessing, but seems like we are not going to pop it at any time. This is the beauty of Transcendent Scrolls. Comptos can still screw you out of the Transcendent Scrolls, but uh, it's at least you get guaranteed something, I, I suppose. Why couldn't Genshin come out right at the 10 year anniversary? That would be perfect. Perfect timing. I don't have time to play Genshin every single day though. <laughs> I haven't even been playing Genshin. Okay, so we're gonna get this uh, dragon, but I don't think they necessarily need a another water dragon. We'll save. We'll save that though. We'll save that blessing for later. We'll see what we get from these, and then right before the transcendence, we'll do the two blessings. Sounds good. Three stars. Sounds about right. Let's see if there's anything. Now I'm curious if there's anything coming. There's not. There, I, I, I already tell you. I, I don't have to look. I can already tell you that there's nothing exciting coming out. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's not the one that they wanted, but at least it's something. God, why does every game look, look worse than the last on mobile? It's just all so bad. I I I don't get like some of these uh these icons, some of the thumbnails look okay. And then you see the actual game and it's like, ah oh, god, it's so it's so garbage. Or you see the thumbnails like, oh, I wonder what this is, and it says idle. And it's like, oh okay. Well, never mind. Never mind. Negative 260. Jeez. So that's from the uh, the event. Let's see how they have their Carlos ruined. I'm sure I already passed him. Yeah. So he is ruined. We're gonna feed the dude Carlos though. Let's save. Let's save this for later. Let's save this for later. Because we want to use it when we have our our transcendence, our transcendence, or the ancient transcendence. Even better. I mean, if you guys want to see uh, Lumbercat Idol Tycoon, that's probably going to be a banger. <coughs> 
<laughs> Hold on, Summoner's War. Hold on, uh, Epic Seven and Raid Shadow Legends and all of those. Raid Shadow Legends just throws money at their problems and they go away. I mean, it does work to a to an extent. They throw money at their uh, problems and it goes away. Potion permit. That looks cute. 2D chibi style top down RPG. Kind of looks like a. Uh, actually, kind of does look cute. It'll probably come out in a year from now, though. It says it's coming soon, which means a year from now. Looks like Harvest Moon. 2D top down pixel art. Gotcha Harvest Moon kind of thing. It does look cute. That's, that's probably the uh, the least garbage of anything coming out. Eternal Heroes. Oh, it's an idle game. Of course, it's a pixel art idle game. Yeah. RPG Alphadia. Oh, this looks like an old RPG. That was done with RPG Maker. You never know, though. I don't know. Is this a gotcha or is this... It doesn't look like a gotcha. Could it be like a game that costs... No, it's in-app purchases and ads. Okay. Devil May Cry Peak of Combat. I don't know. Like, even if they look good, and most of them don't look good. But even if, like, Devil May Cry looks... Oh, oh, we talked about this. Like, it looks visually good at first, and then if you pay more attention, it's like, oh, it's like a, just a action MMO type game that is, like... They built first, or they took from another engine, and then they just like redid some graphics, and they're like, we're gonna call it Devil May Cry. We're gonna put the Devil May Cry franchise in it, but this is really the engine from another action RPG game. <coughs> so, I wouldn't be surprised if someone, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if someone plays it. I wouldn't be surprised if whoever plays it is like, mm, this feels really familiar. This kind of feels like the exact same controls of this other the Korean MMORPG or whatever. Not necessarily that it has to be Korean, but I know they do tend to churn out some some MMORPGs from there. Some very similar, like they're all very, very similar. So Yeah, I just wish there was I, I wish there was less crap. I wish games came out and they were like, oh, this is a good game. But they're still in that mindset. They're still in that uh, antiquated mindset of if we make a game that's too fun, people will uh, people will enjoy it and not want to spend money on microtransactions. Like, it's got to just be fun enough so that you're like, oh, you're so close to having fun. If you just spend another $100, you're going you're gonna to have more fun. You got to spend that extra $100. It never ends. So bitter. So bitter in every video. Nah, we don't need to do that. Oh, let's uh yeah, let's put this stuff in storage. That's what we're supposed to do. I feel like any sane person would be bitter though. Like, can we please have some good video games? Like, there's so many that come out. There's so many. There's just companies making video games left, right. Every, like, every company, like, your mom probably has a video game studio. You probably don't know about it, but she probably has a video game studio. Because everyone has a video game studio. Making all these games. And none of them are good. All of them are just very, uh, who cares? Uh, it's just like the other thousand games that came out before that look exactly the same and have the exact same mechanics. Because people are just pumping out whatever. <coughs> like, it's few and far between to find something that's actually good. There's good stuff that comes out, but a lot of times it's just for, it's for console, and you have to pay full price, which is nothing wrong with that, but definitely not on mobile. Mobile is just shovelware. <laughs> shovelware with microtransactions. 
There's NBA Infinite, which is, of course, just going to be Shovel War with microtransactions. Th there's nothing on mobile that will not, especially if, if you if you need the NBA license. Let's see what else this company has done. Level Infinite, PUBG Mobile. I don't know how bad that was with uh, microtransactions. Arena of Valor, Tower of Fantasy, Contra Returns, Chimera Land, Undawn. So, uh, Nikkei got us a victory. Oh, yeah. So they know all about the microtransactions. Alchemy Stars. Like, the thing is, mobile games don't actually have to be bad. Like, in theory, it is just a game that you can play on a mobile device. There's nothing that says it must mandatory have free-to-play microtransaction hellhole that has terrible mechanics and very, very lazily made. Like, there's nothing that says that that needs to be the formula. It's always the formula. Always. And the kicker is like, like, okay, if that worked all the time, then I could see, okay, well, you know, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it's making money all the time, then it's making money. And why would anyone change it? But then they come to YouTubers and they're like, our game is not making money here. Here's some money that we borrowed <laughs> to try to, do, to get you guys to say that it's good. And then that's our marketing campaign because people aren't giving us money to play the game. It's like, well, maybe the problem is not that. Maybe the problem is that the game is garbage and then that is the part that you should fix. You should have made a good game in the first place. No, that can't be it. Because 10 years ago, this worked. Right. 10 years ago, this worked. That is the problem. 10 years ago, this worked things changed all these big companies seem to be very big companies are very slow very slow to realize that the things change faster than their mindsets do they're so they're so stuck in their ways they got the seminars they went to the seminars about how to get rich quick in mobile gaming. And they're like, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this stuff that worked years and years ago. <coughs> there are seminars on how to uh, milk your players, though. Sad but true. How to how to get people. Like, there's these are things that, that companies pay thousands of dollars to send their employees to is like how to uh force your players to become addicted get them as addicted as possible to make sure that they're spending x amount of dollars every month kind of kind of gross but that's that's just that's business sad Whatever happened to providing a quality product and making money by your customers actually enjoying the product and wanting to pay for it? <laughs> you know, talk, talk about uh, an outdated mindset. That right there is an outdated mindset. No one wants to pay for anything anymore. Which is a bummer. Right, and people will will, will uh, push back on that. They'll be like, "Yeah, well, we can't afford. We don't want to. We don't want to spend money. Why? Why would I spend money if the other stuff is free?" Like, sometimes there's a reason it's free. And if no one wants to spend money on anything, no one respects. That's trippy. If no one respects anything, then that also means that there's people that don't respect. Uh, Oh, here we go. That also, <coughs> also means that the companies aren't going to respect uh, employees as well. It comes full circle. I don't know. I'm just talking on my butt. 
I, I gotta I gotta stop talking. I complain too much and then people and then people write Reddit posts. You think I don't read those? I read them. It's just a stream of consciousness. The rantings of an old man. An old bitter man. Oh hey, here we go. Speaking of an old bitter man. Uh, let's continue these legendaries and legendary attributes, and then we'll do feed for whatever, for whatever we need to at the very end. OD5. So close. Not, not even remotely close, but so close in my imagination. Yeah. We'll do that so that we have two blessings. Let's at least that's the wrong flavor. No, they do they do like their chimera, but Let's see if we get something new. Please. New twin angels, and I'm going to steal this account and I'm going to use this for a video. Probably not, but you know, and we're going to, this is going to be, this is going to be now. Yeah, it's going to be, I feel like there's going to be a twin angel here. It's going to be the fire one. Show me. I, I knew it. I knew it. So what, what do we want here? <coughs> Wind devil maiden or fire twin angels? Should we just go? We're just gonna go with the fire twin angels. New. They didn't say anything about the wind. They didn't say anything about the wind devil maiden, right? Yeah. Not that the fire twins are. The fire twin angels are uh, super OP right now, by any stretch of the imagination. But at least they have new units. So, and if they wanted the if they wanted the other one. They could have had it on the wish list. So anyway, that's it for this one. Um, I don't know why, why I'm singing. Uh, I just wanted to see if there's anything else that I needed to say on YouTube from their uh, their additional information. So anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys getting some of the new units, <laughs> or maybe not. I don't know. Hope you guys getting some better units than the new units. I'll see you as always in the next one.